Well, hello, hello, hello. I'm in my um, house getting ready to go to work. I don't have to be in until the afternoon today. So in my preparation, I was just in the bathroom washing something out and I heard something that I know is the Holy Spirit. And so I just wanted to share it with you because I'm feeling led to do that in my spirit. A lot of times, well, let me go back and say, I was thinking about our ministry that the Lord has given us, meet me at the crossroads. And those of you that watch us, you see, I go on, my husband goes on, and then my 17 year old goes on. And we all have distinct differences in how we minister the word of God, amen. And we've been on for, a, uh, I would say a few years now, right? And that hasn't changed. God hasn't made us carbon copies of one another. We stay distinctive in how God uses us, amen? And so he made me think about different places I have gone and maybe I have said, oh wow, that person or that daughter or that son sounds exactly like their father ministering the word of God. And I thought that was a compliment until the Holy Spirit told me I don't make carbon copies. And so this message is really to enlighten and to clarify that if you are constantly being told that you sound exactly like this person or you minister exactly like this person, there's a problem because what the Lord said is that's a person that's mimicking behaviors. That's not a move of my spirit. Even in the dance, you go to certain churches and you see people and they're dancing in the spirit. When God's Holy Spirit drops, he said, I don't even make carbon copies in my dance. If everyone is dancing the same exact way, they've just learned how to mimic behaviors. That's not a move of my spirit. So that's edification for whoever wants to grab it and take it this morning. That if you're constantly hearing that you sound just like someone else, you need to look in the mirror and check yourself. Because God said, I don't make carbon copies. God bless you.